The implications of declining oxygen in freshwaters are enormous. This has a potential to drive global declines in biodiversity, alter the nutrients, alter the chemistry of these ecosystems. And here we found oxygen was declining pretty substantially. We're potentially just seeing the tip of the iceberg too. In this data set, we pulled together data from over 400 water bodies around the world. In the surface waters, we find that water temperatures are going up. That's driven predominantly by increasing air temperatures. Further warming will likely drive further decreases in dissolved oxygen. However, in a subset, close to a quarter of, of all lakes, we found that temperatures were going up, but oxygen concentrations were also going up. These lakes tended to be very low water clarity, high chlorophyll concentrations, and they also tended to cross a threshold at which cyanobacteria start to dominate, and that cyanobacteria are producing oxygen in our surface waters, thereby increasing oxygen in that subset of lakes. Deep water temperatures were not increasing. However, dissolved oxygen was declining quite rapidly. There are several different factors that are likely at play. And the effects of changing oxygen really spread throughout an ecosystem with the potential to affect almost all characteristics of an ecosystem. Our evidence indicates that climate change is driving these global changes in dissolved oxygen concentrations in freshwaters all over the planet. However, other factors can amplify or suppress that climate effect.